Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jada Simone and you're watching Jada's channel. So as you guys can see by the title of today's video, we will be doing my perfume collection. So I put up a poll on Instagram, as you guys might know if you're following me on Instagram, if you guys wanted to see this video, which is my fragrance video, or if you guys wanted to see a what's in my Louis Vuitton Alma BB bag, and everybody said they wanted to see what was in the BB bag first. So of course, now I'm coming at you guys with my fragrance collection for 2021. It is still just the beginning of 2021, it's only, I think, March. March 8th right now so my collection is going to continue to build and grow and as my collection keeps growing I will continue to update you guys on my Instagram so if you guys are not following me on Instagram make sure you follow me on Instagram at all things Jada Simone I literally post all things Jada Simone on there so do not miss out on my life and I will also be doing little mini updated fragrance collection videos here and there on my channel just so you guys you know know what I'm wearing what I'm smelling like and what I've been loving Fragrance is a lot like anything in life. You know, you grow out of fragrances, you grow to love new fragrances that you didn't like before, and you discover new fragrances. So my collection is going to keep on growing and changing, and yeah, I'm just so excited. So I hope you guys are excited to see what is in my perfume collection. So without further ado, let's hop on into the video. So the first perfume in my collection is actually Viva La Juicy and fun fact Viva La Juicy is actually the first perfume I've ever gotten like this this started off she's the OG she started off the collection as you guys can see she's empty it's nothing in her she's very empty this is the 1.7 fluid ounces this is probably like my fifth sixth or even seventh Viva La Juicy I've had multiple of her so you know this isn't the OG bottle <laughs> but she's the OG so she is the first in the collection um let's see if I can smell okay so I feel like you guys should know what Viva La Juicy is I feel like Viva La Juicy was everybody's like first perfume elementary school middle school it's very I don't know like I really I really suck at explaining scents but it's very light airy fresh um very floral I smell I definitely do smell florals it's definitely a daytime scent um it's an everyday scent for me to be honest with you but as i've been expanding my collection i haven't been wearing this scent as much but she's definitely an og let me read to you guys what the notes for viva la juicy are so it says the top notes are mandarin orange and wild berries so you know we have that fruity within the top so we definitely smell the fruit the middle notes are honeysuckle gardenia and jasmine we definitely smell the flowers like i said it's very florally and the base notes are caramel vanilla praline amber and sandalwood so to be honest a lot of the perfumes in my collection they're comprised of all of these notes so yeah viva la juicy is definitely 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 an og in my collection so the next fragrance is actually love rogue by rihanna and she is another og i think i discovered this my freshman year of college and again we do have the florals in here i do smell a little fruit a lot of florals a little vanilla I love her. She is basically like you guys know Viva La Juicy was the come of coming of age perfume. But I feel like Love Rogue is that definite young adult, you know, college. You trying to you you trying to transition into being grown and sexy a little bit, you know, you a little bit grown, you got a little bit of freedom, you 18. This is what she gives. She gives adolescent. <laughs> I don't know. Like she gives she gives young adult like she gives like very 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 young adult like 18 19 year old so i really love her so the top notes for love rogue are peach red berry mandarin orange like i said we definitely smell the fruit <laughs> um the middle notes are coconut that's why i really do like this like i smelled it in my mom's perfume store um when i first discovered it and i just randomly i just smelled it and I fell in love with it and I noticed that I'm a very coconutty like I love coconuts like I love the smell of coconut like it just it's something about coconut <laughs> something about coconut and vanilla like 
top tier unmatched so that is why i really love this scent so um again the middle notes are coconut honeysuckle orchid and jasmine sandback which I'm assuming is just another form of jasmine. And the base notes are again caramel, vanilla, amber, and wood. So the next fragrant that I want to show you guys is Coach Poppy Flower. And um, I think I actually stole this from my mom like years ago. Maybe like four or five years ago. And I really like this. It's very floral. It, again, it's poppy flower. So I would expect it to smell very florally. But again, like Love Rogue, is that, you know, stepping into adulthood. Like, you know, that transition into adulthood scent. I'm sorry, guys. I keep smelling it because it, it just smells so good. The packaging is so freaking cute. The top, she's just so bomb. I love the pink plated coach in the front. She's just, she's, she's, <laughs> she's the go-to. Like, she's another OG. Like, we, we gravitate to her sometimes. So, the top notes for um coach poppy flower are citrus lychee ivy black currant um the middle notes are peony water lily rose jasmine and raspberry again that's why i like it because it's very florally and the base notes are apricot musk sandalwood and amber we threw in that musk in there that it does have a slightly musky smell which is really really good really like sexy and i feel like that's what gives it that grown vibe so i would very much suggest these three perfumes if you are mm, i really don't want to put an age frame on it but i would say if you are in college if you're stepping into young adulthood i would highly recommend these three perfumes as your starters they're very inexpensive they smell really really good and you know, even though everybody's body chemistry isn't all the same, I feel like these would really work for a lot of people. So these next two scents are scents that I just discovered. They were actually scents that my mom gifted to me for my birthday um, and Christmas or Valentine's Day. One of those, two of those three holidays I was gifted them and they are actually by the brand Miss Attitude. They look like this and they are provocateur and bombshell. Unfortunately, I do not know the notes for these. I tried to Google them, but they just didn't come up. But this, these are, these are bomb. This perfume, when I first smelled it, when I was, you know, when my mom gave it to me, it definitely put me in the mind of Viva La Juicy. They definitely do smell very, like, they smell slightly the same. Because when you first smell it, it's like, ooh, Viva La Juicy. But then when you smell Viva La Juicy, it's like, mm, it don't smell like that. Like, you know, it's just like, they, they just put you in the mind of each other, if that makes sense. So I definitely do smell, I'm gonna try to, like, make out what I smell for you guys. So, I definitely do smell a little vanilla. I smell floral. I feel like I do smell sandalwood. Mm, maybe a little must. And I feel like I definitely do smell caramel. Like it's more like caramelly, vanilla y sweet than floral and fruity sweet. So this has been my everyday scent, guys. Like literally every day I wake up, if I'm going out, ch -ch -ch, spray this. Or even sometimes when I get up the shower, even at night sometimes I just spray this. Like I just love to smell good. And I feel like this is probably my signature scent. Now this one is Bombshell and I really like this one as well. And guys, I, I can't remember when I smelled it, but my mom, she actually purchased it for herself first. And I smelled it and I was like, this smells like you. Like this smells like my mom. She likes Bombshell. Like I feel like this probably put her in the mind of Victoria's Secret Bombshell. It's very grown but still very light it's very fresh like it's not too grown and sexy it's like you know the perfect everyday scent I definitely smell florals in it definitely florals I don't know it just it smells like my mom if you guys <laughs> if you guys ever smell my mom this is what it smells like but it just smells so freaking good so whenever I'm not spraying provocateur I'm spraying this on me but again this is an everyday scent as well. It's very fresh, very light, very airy, but you still smell it on you all day. And that's what I really do love about these perfumes. I'm really, really glad that my mom gifted these to me. I'm glad that I came across them because I feel like once they're once they're done, I'm going to keep re-upping on them because they're really that essential. Okay, so the next scent is Bella by Vince Camuto. And I feel like she's an OG too. 
I feel like maybe I should have showed her with the first three but you know she's a little bit more on the high end side so that's why I saved you know all of my high end uh fragrances for last so yeah Bella by Vince Camuto and you guys again you guys can see that I actually wear her because where is it like where is the rest of my fragrance <laughs> like I actually wear my fragrances I'm not just buying random fragrances and talking about them for y'all Bella is another one that I walked into my mom's perfume store one day smelled it and I was like yeah I want that and then I think she bought it for like Christmas for me or something but she smells really really good um again another daytime scent but this is like a step up from like a Viva La Juicy or you know the Rihanna or you know the coming of age perfumes this is a step up you can actually be a grown lady and wear this I mean you can wear any other perfumes but like when I smell this I think of grown working woman like grown I'm about my business I make my coin and <laughs> yeah so I really really like Vince Camuto so the notes for Bella by Vince Camuto are surprisingly very simple all the other ones they had like multiple um scents within their notes this one is very simple straight to the point and I feel like that's probably why I like it too because it's not too confusing I told y'all I don't know how to describe fragrances like I honestly when I be smelling my perfumes I literally probably only smell one thing like I might smell florals or I might smell fruity or I might smell vanilla but I never smell all the things in the notes so um the top notes for this fragrance are bergamot and I feel like I really like this because um I noticed that I really like bergamot I feel like what made me start liking bergamot was a body wash from Bath and Body Works that I got as like a gift or something from one of my friends I feel like that's what it was and I honestly can't tell you guys what the scent of the body wash was but I, I feel like that it was that body wash because I fell in love with that body wash but it was bergamot and like vanilla or something or bergamot and a lavender or something like that but I love bergamot like I bought a room spray the other day that was bergamot and aloe bergamot is it's just something about bergamot it smells so freaking good to me so yeah top note in this is bergamot that's it the middle notes are nectarine blossom and jasmine simple straight to the point i like florals yeah <laughs> and the base note is white amber so like i said these notes very simple so i feel like i that's why i really like this scent because i'm such a simple girl like i'm very simple not plain simple straight to the point i we like straight to the point over here okay so the next fragrance is viva la juicy again but this is viva la juicy le bubbly and i was actually gifted this by my mom for my 22nd birthday um not this year but last year in 2020 october 2020 when your girl turned 22 <laughs> but yeah um i really like this this scent is just very playful I, and you can just tell by the packaging the packaging is just so playful like there's like little bubbles all the all around the cute little bow tie on it the cute little safety pin with the bubbles hanging like this is so freaking cute like it just puts me in the mind of like teenager cute youthful playful but it doesn't smell juvenile at all i feel like even as a grown woman i would still gravitate towards this scent because it's just so classic it's it just smells viva la juicy is just classic in general so the top notes of viva la juicy le bubbly are champagne <laughs> so that's why you get like that bubbly smell blood orange wild berry mandarin orange and pink freeze freeze freestia is a is a flower pink pink freeze freesa something like that um so yeah again we have um those florals and we also have the fruity the middle notes are gardenia vanilla orchid and jasmine again i'm a big vanilla person and the base notes are praline amber and woodsy um i feel like we definitely get the praline the amber and the woodsy in the in the scent and these are all the same notes as the original Viva La Juicy. The only thing I feel like is different is the blood orange and the champagne. Because it definitely, like you, if you were blindfolded, you definitely would know this was a Viva La Juicy scent. It was, it was one of them. You just probably wouldn't know which one, but 
she's definitely a go-to so the next fragrance on my list is Marc Jacob Decadence and when I tell you guys I have been wanting this perfume for a good like two years like ever since I went into a random Sephora one day and I smelled a sample I was in love with this scent like this scent definitely gives me grown and sexy like grown woman money in her career red bottoms like <laughs> on her bit like you know on her ish this definitely is the scent i feel like this scent is a little more like grown and sexy than all the other ones like this is definitely grown woman we get um a little more spicier vibe this is definitely mm, i feel like it can be a day and a nighttime scent um this would be a scent that i would wear out to dinner with my man or you know on a date I, I would wear this when the sun was out but i also would wear it to work in the morning but yeah i, I don't know there is just something about this scent that is just so addicting to me like i freaking love it so the top notes are plum saffron and iris so it definitely does have that floral vibe the middle notes are o Oris, Bulgarian Rose, and Jasmine Sambic, again, still more florals. And the base notes are Amber, Vel Vet Vetiver, and Papyrus. And um, based on the main accords, we have Woodsy, Fruity, Amber, Iris, Earthy, Powdery, again, love the powder powdery scent sweet love the sweet scents aromatic warm spicy and leather so i feel like this is definitely a go-to if you are stepping into adulthood trying to be on your your ish <laughs> like me you know trying to be on your grown and sexy vibe this is definitely the scent for you so the next scent is actually good girl by carolina herrera and i noticed that a lot of people do have this in their collection it's definitely a favorite this again gives me very grown and sexy i did not discover this scent until my mom um one day like she sprayed it on me while i was going out and i fell in love when i tell you guys this gives boss chick like boss chick we have the warmest spicy we have the woodsy we have it's, it's just everything you need in a scent this is her she's definitely not like I, I feel like a lot of people with like certain fragrances they hype them up and then you actually go to the store and smell them and they're not all that like no this scent is definitely worth the hype so unlike Vince Camuto which had very basic notes carolina herrera her notes are od like i'm looking at the notes right now and i feel like this is the most notes that were in any of my fragrances so the top notes are almond coffee bergamot and lemon i honestly i feel like i do like coffee like coffee i, I feel like i do smell it in there it, it just gives that very sophisticated scent to it i guess bergamot like i said before i really do love bergamot um, the middle notes are tuberose, jasmine sandbeck, oris, orange blossom, and bulgarian rose. We definitely do get the florals out of it. And the base notes are a lot, like a lot, a lot. The base notes are toka bean, um, cacao, which is cocoa, you know, cocoa bean. So we definitely do get like a cocoa type of sweetness. We get the vanilla sweetness, the praline sweetness, but we also get like the musky vibe from the sandalwood, the musk, the amber. We have a cashmere wood. We definitely smell that. Um, patchouli. Fun fact, I also do really, really, really love patchouli, like how I love bergamot. I feel like I probably love patchouli even more, so that's probably why I gravitate so heavily towards this scent. We have cinnamon, and then we have cedar. So yeah, I would highly, highly, highly recommend you guys go out and at least get a sample from Sephora. I, if Sephora even sells this, I don't know if Sephora sells it, but get a sample from whatever perfume store, get a sample, because this is definitely to die for and the last scent is actually my all-time favorite and it is burberry my burberry blush and guys when i tell you guys this is like the epitome of feminine like all things femininity are in this bottle right here like guys i love this i love how it smells on me i try not to wear it every day because <laughs> y'all see how little this bottle is this is 
a 1.6 fluid ounce and I don't know if it comes in a bigger size but I definitely will be getting a bigger size because y'all when I tell y'all I be trying to with frame from spraying this on myself every day this is definitely a go-to for me when I'm going out date night with my boyfriend he really likes this scent on me he compliments me every time I'm wearing it y'all this like it, it just smells like girl like but not like little girl it smells like woman just very woman sexy feminine like oh my goodness guys like I, I want y'all to go out and at least smell it you don't even have to buy smell it because you just smelling it is gonna convince you to buy it so <laughs> go out and smell it so like the Vince Camuto this scent has basic notes as well so the top notes are pomegranate and lemon, which are different from all the other ones. This scent really sticks out. I feel like that's why it's my favorite because the other ones, they kind of smell a little similar to each other, like in the slightest way, but they definitely do smell similar. This one smells the most different out of all my fragrances, especially because of the pomegranate and the lemon. But again, we love the fruitiness from it. The middle notes are green apple, rose petals, and geranium again notes that were not in any of the other ones and then the base notes are wisteria and jasmine um jasmine was in a couple of the other ones but wisteria was not so this is a very 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 unique scent and i guarantee you if you go out and get it spray it on yourself you're gonna have a lot of people asking you what you're wearing and you could just <laughs> tell them this and send them to this video so they can find more scents Separages. Okay guys, so that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this inspired you to go out and build your collection. Like I said before, my collection is very, very small. Um, honestly, before this year, I probably only had like four cents three for real. Like the first three cents, probably, you know, those were like the only three in my collection. But I've definitely been branching out, trying to express my femininity more, trying to find, you know, what since i like you know dipping into the luxury pond because black girls deserve luxury as well but yeah even though my fragrance collection might seem small to some it is very big to me and like i said earlier i will continue to build upon this collection and continue to update you guys on the new scents that i am wearing and loving and you know updating you guys on scents that i'm starting to grow out of you know eventually so i hope you guys like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment and subscribe and don't forget to click on the post notification bell so you guys are uploaded every time i post a new video and i will see y'all in the next one bye guys